Hello, I'm Allison Weber. Like the 80 million house owns that own dogs, my grandmother and her dog Zoe are inseparable. But when she wants to travel, Zoe has to stay in a cage. And I thought, why can't Zoe stay in a place where she gets fed, groomed, exercised, and trained? My big idea is Doggy Spa, an overnight boarding facility that provides the very best in personalized care for you and your dog. My Doggy Diary feature uses modern technology to send video clips and pictures of your dog stay while you're away, providing you with peace of mind that your dog is in good hands. Now who wants to hear more about my business? <laughs> it's unanimous. Yes. I have folders here for you guys. Thank you. And what are you? what's in this is I have my brochure. Thank you. And my business card for my marketing side of my business. And then I also have the contract form that the customer might get when they come in to board their dog. So I'll let you guys look through that. And if you have any questions, you can ask me at any time. Doggy Spa is a full-time boarding facility in a caring environment for your dog. This is Holly. Holly learned a new trick today and she can't wait to come home and work on it with you. I'm sorry my videos aren't working with. This is uh, part of my doggy diary feature that I'll explain later on in my presentation. My business demographic, the total U.S. pet industry expenditures in 2012 was $52.8 billion. $4.1 billion was spent on pet grooming and boarding alone. Over 80 million people in the U.S. own dogs and approximately 30 million use kennels to board their dog every year so that they can vacation, meet work obligations, and attend emergencies without imposing on family or friends. According to Industry IQ, most pet owners feel more comfortable with their pet under full-time, dependable professional care. Some pet owners see it as an opportunity for their pets to be play with other pets as a social benefit as parents do with young children in play groups. The demand for pet care services has risen dramatically in recent years. This is Sunday. Hi mom, can't wait to get pampered today. Do you think I need a haircut? Customer concerns when choosing a dog boarding facility. How clean is the kennel? Will my dog remain healthy? Will my dog get exercise? And what additional services do we have available? My business um, addresses each one of these points. This is Marley. Let me hear, hurry home so I can tell you all about my stay at Doggy Spa. What we offer at Doggy Spa. We have boarding. The overnight boarding cost is $85 and the day boarding cost is $50 and the per hour boarding cost is $7. We have the grooming. Prices vary due to the type of dog and the treatment requested by the owner and also the type of fur the dog might have. The exercise. We have unlimited exercise for each one of our dogs in our indoor facility. Training is available on request of the customer. And feeding, if your dog has special health concerns or is on a special diet, we ask to the owners to bring their own food so that we don't ruin anything with the dog's health. But we do have food on hand to feed your dogs. And the doggy diary. All the day customers and overnight customers will receive the video clips or the pictures of their dog's stay directly to your phone or email. This is our overnight boarding facility. You can see in the top corner here, we have what our kennels would look like. In the bottom corner, the beds that we use for the dogs. Instead of using the pillows that would, we'd have to keep replacing industry to make sure for health reasons, we use these beds that are here made out of a special fabric that we can wipe down and disinfect every day. This is our grooming facility. In the top corner, we have the styling beds for trims and cuts and paw care. And in the bottom corner, we have our area for the shampoos and baths. This is our indoor exercise facility. In the bottom corner, you see an area for a very small dogs. In the top corner, you can see we have it sectioned off into three parts. One part is for the larger dogs. The second part is for smaller dogs. And the third part we have sectioned off if the customer requests their dog to be separated from another gender 
or if that dog does not play well with others, that way we can keep rotating the dogs and that everyone's having a good time. This is my doggy diary feature. A family of two kids are going to Disney World, but they can't bring their lovable pet along. Doggy Diary is designed to show you that your dog is in good hands. Some of the pictures I've shown you, as Holly, Sunday, and Marley, are examples of pictures or video clips that I would send directly to your phone or email. And if you'd like, we can also create a personal page on our website, www.doggyspa.com. All you need is a temporary access login. This is Shelby, my sister's dog. Oh boy, oh boy, earning yummy treats today, and I'm being very good. Doggy Spa projected revenue. My business goal is to board 25 to 30 dogs per week, but we can hold up to 40. At this rate, our daily stay boarding would generate from $1,200 to $1,500 weekly, and overnight boarding would generate from $21 to $2,500. Using the smallest and the largest, my weekly revenue figures, my business would generate an annual revenue of approximately $62,000 to $130,000. Assuming that 30% of my revenue goes to my payroll and benefits, 30% to my business expenses, and 40% back to the owner, I anticipate an annual profit of $25,000 to $52,000. Phase 1 of my doggy spa business. My goal is to open a business in Aberdeen by renting or owning a facility with an initial budget of $30,000. I will secure $10,000 from my family or relatives, and I'll be a sole proprietorship. The other $20,000 I will look for as a, either as a bank loan or an investor. I anticipate my dog to staff ratio to be 10 to 1, and I plan to ask volunteer help from 4-H, Future Farmers of America, senior citizen groups, or Girl Scout groups. That way they can come spend a few hours after school and just play for volunteer and I can even get future employees from these groups. I'll conduct, conduct a profitability review every three months in phase one of my business plan and I will proceed with phase two only after phase one is profitable. Phase two of my doggy spa business. After proving that my first shop was profitable, I can now think about opening a second shop in a bigger city than Aberdeen. I'll hire a bookkeeper and additional staff. At this point, I can consider on taking a partner to reduce my risk. If I need an investor, I can sell a 5 to 10 equity share. And I will only con continue with phase 3 after my first two businesses are profitable. The final phase of my business, after proving success with both my facilities, I can now expand into more cities outside of South Dakota. I can choose to rent or own each of my facilities and hire managers to run them for me. I can strengthen my partner relationships and consider on becoming a corporation. I'll continue an annual profit review for all future expansion investments can be sold to a 5 to 10% equity share. This is Kisses. Miss you bunches, having fun making new friends at Doggy Spa. Thank you for your interest. Any questions? Good job. <clears throat> Good job. Nice. Are you, did you come up with the idea of sending photos and video clips, or have you learned of that somewhere else? No, that was kind of my idea. More, more people my age, and actually anybody, is getting more involved into technology and computers and cell phones. That it's an easy way that I can show customers that their dog is having a good time, their dog is safe and in good environment, and they're having fun. They're not just sitting in a cage, they're out playing. And that, that will bring in customers for me and hopefully show them that they can return back and that their dog is in good hands. Because I know some people have people house sit for them, but the house sitter can't always be there 24 7. They come let them out a couple times a day. That's just not enough exercise for the dog in the cage. Have you actually done some of these? Have you actually dog sat before? Yes. Dog bark term and uh, most of these, these dogs things? in the picture, in the pictures that I've shown, yeah. are dogs that I've dog sat, or their relatives or friends. Did you? Where did you find the pictures of your ideas for the kennels and the, the boarding areas and things like that? Those I kind of all had kind of pictured up in my head, <clears> but <throat> I've looked around on the internet. 
because some people do home-based facilities and I know there are some uh, facilities called ranches like that are out in countries so those would be some of my competitors have you thought about aligning yourself with a vet clinic or anything like that for traffic? And I have. I've considered them more as an ally to my business. That way they can recommend me to board dogs because I did talk to our local veterinarian. They do not groom or they do not board their dogs. So they say they get a lot of calls around holidays. So if anything, if they can refer me to their customers, I can refer my customers back to them because each dog that comes to our facility they need to have their three shots, which is the Bordetella, which is commonly called the kennel cough, the Temperus, and Rabies. So if I can work together with the vet clinics and get that shot, those shots through them. And on our contract form, we also have veterinarian history. So we'd like to work with the customers, veterinarians, as possible, too. Very good. Excellent. Thanks. Thank you. Do you want these back? For uh, sure. sure. Unless you guys want to keep them and review them at any time. I think I looked at it, and it was uh, well done. Well done. Yeah. Thank you very much. Very nicely done.